Hey guys, this is Alexei, and I'm here to show you how I rip sprites for Mugen. Well, first off, I'm in Photoshop CS6. Um, the version that you're using doesn't really matter. The process is basically the same between the versions. All you need to know is where your tools are. They'll be in different places depending on different versions. In mine, I have my toolbar over to the left, and I have my actions panel over here docked over here in the right. So, I have this sheet of Asuka from Draglade ripped by Grimm, and I'm going to rip a few sprites out of it and show you how I do things. First of all, make sure that your layer over here is not locked. If it is, if it becomes a background layer, just try to unlock it. Um, you can unlock it by double clicking and clicking OK, and that will unlock the layer, allowing you to delete things from it. So first, I'm going to press I, or go to my eyedropper tool over here, and select the background color of my image. I'm going to create a new layer, and press Alt Backspace, or use the paint tool, the paint bucket tool, to, to fill in the background layer with the background color. Now, I'm going to click the first layer, the my sprite sheet layer, and I'm going to clean up the sheet. Uh, what I mean by this is I'm going to take away any colors I don't want in my palette. So even though these are pretty much the same colors as the main sprites, I'm going to remove them because I don't need them. So you basically just go around the sheet, deleting all of these elements from the sheet that you don't need. So I'm just going to continue to do that here. Uh, oftentimes I remove effects too only because I like to um, fix them up myself and make them look nicer than uh, what the game provides. So, you know, this white text here is completely unnecessary. I don't need that color in my palette, even though it probably will be there in some shade because I can clearly see white on her. But yeah, basically just go through this, delete all effects, well, you don't have to delete effects. I delete effects. You don't have to. Um, delete any colors you don't want in your palette. And I'll delete this too, because even, even those effects are kind of unnecessary. And these palettes at the bottom we don't need right now. Eh, I'll delete these too. Okay, so here I have a very roughly cleaned sheet. Uh, I'm going to hit Command E or merge down, right click and merge down on the first layer so this becomes one layer. Um, now I'm going to create my palette based off of these colors. Oh, it looks like I forgot something over here. An X. Let's just fill that in. Okay. Oh, and a Y, apparently. Okay, so this looks good. So now I'm going to go to Image, Index Color. Okay, it's pulling in my previous palette that I had, which was completely black and white. That's why it looks uh, really bad in this preview. But always choose Local Selective. Okay, make sure that you're not forcing any colors, make sure that matte is none. Uh, dither you really don't need, so change that to none. I make this local selective. So after making it local selective, you click this once again and go to custom. This will show you an optimized palette of colors. Everything that this sheet uses, all the colors are right here for you. So what you want to do is set your zero color, which is going to be the background color. Right now, this is at color 255. This is color 0, this is color 255. So, what I want to do is I'm going to hold control down and click. That will delete that background color or that color 255 from there. I'm going to click on color 0, and I'm going to just click in the background over here, and it will select my background color on the actual image. I'm going to click OK, click OK. Okay, here is my customized palette. 
I'll click OK. And my palette is indexed. My image is indexed, I mean. And um, that's it for the palette. If I see the color table, this will be my new palette. If I change any of these colors here, it will change her palette. Okay, so now for the actual ripping part. That's only preparation. That's preparing the sheet. What you want to do is probably set up an action. You don't have to, but I like to because it creates a streamlined process that makes just this whole process simpler in the end. So I'm going to create a new folder, call it test because that's what this is for, and I'm going to create a new action. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, index sprite because that's what it's going to do. Okay, now you'll see it's on record. You can skip a step if you don't really want to do this, but I want an action recording so I don't have to do this again. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is actually not record right now. Um, we'll do that in a bit. So I'm going to take the marquee tool by hitting M. I can easily access it, or you can click up here. If you have the oval tool selected, you can just hold the mouse down and just mouse over rectangular marquee tool. So I'll click this. This is what I want. It creates rectangle squares. Um, so I'm going to select my first sprite and I'm going to copy it. That's with Control C. You could also um, go to Edit and Copy, but I like hotkeys. So Control C for copy. Then I'm going to do Control N or create a new a new document, and I'm going to paste right in there. So here's my sprite. Now I want to use the previous palette to index this. Now I don't want to have to go up here and do it again. So instead what I'm going to do is set up an action. This is where we set up the action. So I'm going to go to image, index color, and I'm going to choose previous because what it's actually using is the palette we had just set up. You see this? So what you would do is hit previous, click OK. You'll see it put convert mode into as an action here for uh, our main action and I'm going to also trim it because I feel that Photoshop does a better job than Fighter Factory would so here's my trim sprite and that's basically it that is one sprite you have right there now all you need to do is stop recording by clicking the stop button and here's my action and I'll show you how this works with another sprite in a minute but after this I'm just going to save it and I'm gonna put this on my desktop um, I don't know, I'll call it stand zero zero. Okay, here's my sprite. Okay, I'm going to hit command W to get rid of that window or close that window. Or you can click the little X up here, but, you know, when it was here. Again, I'm going to go to my marquee tool, select the next sprite. Command C, command N, or control in this case, because I'm on a PC. Control C, control N paste with control V. All these uh, options can be accessed in the edit menu as well. Also file new for new. And instead of going through that uh, somewhat tedious process of before, I'm just going to click my action that I set up and click play or this play selection button. What it did is it ran through each of these. It first converted the mode and then it trimmed it. And there's my sprite prepared. So I click save stand zero one close this next one control V open my actions panel this save stand zero two close it rinse and repeat guys it's really this simple now I'm sure there's other ways of doing it but in my opinion this is what I have come to realize is most efficient because you're gonna have a lot of sprites to deal with and it really does speed up the process once you're doing it this way so just continue okay there's only two more left 
copy, control new, control N, call this stand 06. Once more, copy, control C, control N. And that's pretty much it. It's that simple. Now, of course, you wouldn't really be able to use this process if you took an image that had a different palette than your previous one. Uh, the image would be indexed, yes, but it would look very wrong. The colors would be messed up. You wouldn't like the result. So remember, this only works if you have a sheet that basically has all the same colors on it, like most characters would. I mean, that's the whole point of why you remove effects, because mostly effects have different colors in the sheet, you know, different from the character most of the time. So, you know, that's why you remove them during the preparation process. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for watching, guys.